Now, residents of Paradise Court in Trenchtown, St. Andrew, are hoping that their public plea for help will get the attention of the National Housing Trust. They want major leakages in their units to be addressed urgently. As they say, when it rains, it pours inside their house. Cody and Barrett has more. They thought they were going to be living in paradise, just as the housing scheme's name suggests. But Paradise Court has become hellish for homeowners. They explain that most of the units have leaking roofs. Additionally, when it rains, water seeps through the walls. Them house here, I already come up house, but you know when you live in a tenement yard, and you get your own house, you're frightened, so you just run come in at it. Natoya Allen says several of her household items have either been damaged or destroyed because of constant flooding when it rains. This is what we are going through. Whenever the rain fall or not, it always leak. So you see the morass in here have a funny smell because of the morass. She fears for her grandmother who is also living in another unit. The slippery surface, a clear danger. It's also a concern raised by another homeowner. She can't help herself after be moving her, so judge when the water flow. I have to be helping her that she not slide and break now here. And the problem is worse for residents who live on the second, first and ground floors. Chores such as washing in some units on the third floor may result in flooding for those below. Paradise Court in Trenchtown was built by the National Housing Trust NHT back in 2007. The homeowners argue that the problem persisted back then, but it has seemingly gotten worse. We obtained videos from one homeowner during the passage of Tropical Storm Grace last week. The frustrated residents say they've had enough. It's uncomfortable, really, really uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, can you know when rain fall, inside supposed to be warm, outside can't cool or inside cool. Yeah. When, they, when the bed wet up, a good thing so we have an, um, plastic and a, under the mattress cover, let me have to buy a mattress. The complaint is similar for residents in another phase of the housing scheme. Some say they've gone to the extreme to prevent water from the stairways entering their homes. When contacted, the National Housing Trust said it was unaware of the issues. The communications manager has promised to investigate and provide a response. The issues have also brought to the fore the sturdiness and strength of the buildings as water is seemingly compromising the structure. It not look good. In the meantime, the residents say they're closely monitoring the weather as rainfall is expected to continue across the island. Javon Keyes, TVJ News.